Tim, less than a dozen students across the state have had a perfect score on the ACT, but one Hastings High student aced the test. Meanwhile, a student in at Heartland Lutheran in Grand Island is getting national recognition. News 5's Julia Bryars has the story. It's a competitive field to get into college, and how you score on the ACT can be a deciding factor for schools and scholarships. Most students spend hours pouring through books for the big test. But most students don't end up with a perfect score. I am growing up with two teachers. I was always learning as, as a little kid. Meet Ryder Mays. Education is in his blood. He's a junior at Hastings High School. He first took the ACT in December and scored a 35. But that wasn't good enough. I had to take it again. So I figured if I'm going to take it, I should shoot and get one better and get the 36. And that's exactly what he did. He took the test again in March. He scored a 35 in math and science and a 36 in reading and English. It averaged out to be a 36. I checked the score like during class on, on my computer and I had to you know not jump out of my desk. He's the only student in the school's history to get a perfect score. Meanwhile, in Grand Island, another student is getting recognition for her academic skills. Hannah Niemeyer of St. Liberty was chosen as a 2014 United States Presidential Scholar. She's a senior at Heartland Lutheran High School. She's one of 141 seniors selected nationwide. I was in the middle of applying for all sorts of scholarships and they were all piling up and I kind of started it and said, well, why the heck not? More than 39,000 students qualified for the award based on outstanding performance on the SAT and ACT exams. This June, along with other scholars, Hannah will head to Washington, D.C. to receive her honors. It's a huge honor, um, but it's also a great surprise and a great chance to meet the other scholars. Two students in two neighboring towns with stories of academic success. Julia Breyers, News 5.